Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. The son of a lion, offspring of Abolanze, the great ruler of Ibaku land. Fear far and near, even the elephants part ways when they sense your presence. Move. Yes, this spirit. My king, the people are living. They demand for your head. <laughs> you see my head? Your Highness, this is a serious matter. It's nothing to laugh about. My king, you have to listen to our voice, your cabinet members. For we speak the mind of the people. You have gone too far this time. You shut up! How dare you talk to me in that manner? Have you forgotten that you are in the presence of your king? My king, forgive our boldness. But you have left us with no other choice. Yes, your majesty. We have to speak up before the people rebel against the reign. No one will ever challenge my throne. Nobody. I am Njoko, the son of Abalanze. Nobody can. Or it will challenge my authority. But your highness. Please be quiet. I don't want to speak any further on this issue. And if you don't have anything meaningful to say to me, I will appreciate the ball again at this point. Get it? Your Highness, we, we are busy in the kitchen. Her Highness, we what? Her Highness asked us to help her with the preparation in the kitchen. What did I hear you say? Your, your what? Highness. If, if you I'll dress up by that name again. Your <laughs> you fool should come with me. You did, Your Highness, but the, Her Highness stopped us from doing your bidding. She what? Yes, she asked us to prepare her meal instead. No! Not today! Not again! That good for nothing has to realize her place in this house. I must make sure I put her in her place. What nonsense! And the both of you, I am coming back for you. Sir. Why? Oh, so you can see the outfit I'm putting on today and copy it? You must be very stupid if you think that I will copy your low-budget outfit. 
Too bad you lack elegance and style. Whatever. Look, Silva. It's high time you stop undermining me in this palace. <laughs> I can do as I please. Not you or anyone can do anything about it. And so, I sent my maidens to be in charge of my kitchen and you stopped them. Why? I don't think I owe you any explanation. Really? Look, Silva. On a very good day, I will make you eat your words. Let that day come. If you're done ranting, you can take a walk. Mark my words. You will eat your words. Yes, the king sent for me. Papa, I hope you're not going to support him. For we all know he's an arrogant jerk. Don't speak such evil words. I didn't train you up like this. Papa, you know I speak the truth. I'm nothing but the truth. In Joko, you cry out. The one that should not allow to stay on the surface of this earth. Hey, Santo. Such harsh words for your king. Your king, king of this land. No. Don't forget that words have ears. And when bad people hear what you say, to put you in trouble. Papa, you are a proper people to know that I must kill the family. I am not. Njoko and his niece eat and eat magic. They are not. Well, I'm not going to stay here and deal with you. The king awaits me in the palace. I'm only sitting in the palace. See you later. Papa, go well. I'm not going to speak with you. You speak and it comes to pass. You are my father's friend and a friend to the throne. What did the gods say? Joko, you are the son of the lion. You are the one who wants to the fall. chase. I go and tell me what I want to hear. Patience, my king. The gods are yet to speak. Then he said, Patience? Have I not been patient enough? I have been patient for so long. When will the gods give me what I've been asking them for? My king. My king. Oh, no, don't, don't dissuade me, Ago. Don't. Because I am going to seek for solution. Should the gods continue to keep me mute on this? Joko, do not question the gods. Ago, I am Joko, the son of Abalanze. I fear no one. Your food. I want to go to the market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, when you get to the market, don't forget to buy beans. I'm tired of eating all these long blonde things on this, right? So, <laughs> buy beans, beans. You mean beans have what I want? Okay, yeah? Papa. I will Please. Mm -hmm. Let me get you one. Okay. They will wake up to find out that there is no risk over our May the gods forbid. How can you say that? So then what do you expect? Huh. We have a tyrant as king. I just hope one day, Njok will be made to pay for all his evil deeds. I want to teach him a lesson he will never forget. 
become? How can I become very? Each time I remember all his evil deeds, my blood boils. It boils. It's okay. Don't let the job trouble you. Let's go. Hey, woman. How many times have I warned you not to step your feet on this land? How many times? My king, I'm sorry. This is the only piece of land my husband left for her and my children. Will you shut up? I'm sorry, my you are king. stupid. Sorry. You are stupid. Whose order are you supposed to take? That of your husband or your king's order? My king's orders. I'm sorry, my king. No, 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 you don't have to be sorry. That's no point. By the time I finish with you, you have reasons to be sorry. Kala, yes, your highness. Take her to the car. Oh. Take her to the car. Let her go. My king, my king. I said you should let her go, I say. Who are you? And what gave it gods to stand before your king and talk in such manner? Who or what I am is not important. But I would not stand here and watch you humiliate this woman. Really? I see we have a hero wannabe. Oh, yes. But you know what? Today is your lucky day. Because I don't have your time. And if I were you, I will run as fast as my leg could carry me out of this place now. I will not step an inch until you step this woman. Really? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am not going anywhere. Well, that's fine. I will set her free. Just like you demanded. But you know what? You will take her prison. Kala, bless your highness. Take this girl. Put her in the booth. <laughs> Shut up. Come on. Go, move. Oh, yeah. Run, run. Run. <laughs> What is it? My daughter, why are you running like uh, someone that is running? running like it? Something. Something. What about her? But the king took her against her will. God of all life. What does that mean? We come back from the market and we saw the king. He was abusing a woman and something tried to help her. Hey, and then what happened? Speak up. The, the king got angry and took something instead. But you have to help her. Papa, I'm scared you, you'll be punishing her. Papa, please. Don't worry. <laughs> I will go and fetch some dough back from my palace. My daughter, your highness. Your daughter? Yes. The one you hold captive is the one that is after my heart. That's not possible. It is possible, my king. Her name is Soto, my only child. Ago, I know you have a daughter. Well, that's by the way. Uh, whether she's your daughter or not, it's immaterial. 
because she challenged me and she shall be punished. My king, I came here to plead on her behalf. I know that what she did on that day was a great mistake. Challenging you on that day. It is punishable by my law. Your Highness, I beg of you, please, forgive her. At least for the sake of the friendship I maintain with your late father. I beg of you, forgive her. Come with me. And why should I? The king demands your presence. And if I refuse? Your father is here. My father. You better come with me before the king changes his mind. Thank you. Both of you should leave my presence immediately before I change my mind. Father! Son to Juku. Son to Juku. You cannot save everybody. You must understand that. You can't carry the weight of the whole world on your shoulders. Papa, I'm going to try. But I don't care. I cannot just fold my arms like everyone else. Son to, I know. But you must understand that you are my only child. And I cannot bear to see anything happen to you. Nothing will happen to me, Nothing. I hope so. I really hope so. Don't take anything to happen to me. Your Highness, you should know that we have your interest at heart. And that's of the people. Ignatius, I don't understand what you're saying. I think what Ignatius is trying to say is that we all are worried. Yes, Your Highness, we are worried because it's been long since he's got married to your second wife. We are yet to hear the cry of a baby in this palace. Your, your Highness, the throne needs some hair. See, well, Your Highness, you don't, you don't see what you just said. Oh, I didn't say anything. Cowards! Cowards! Don't tell me that you people have been discussing this behind me? Not at all. It's just that... It's just that you will never bring this issue up again. Never! Have I made myself clear? Are we clear, cowards? Uh, yes, Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Juggle under his guards as long as we have been here. What? 
I don't even want to talk about it. It's a terrible sight. Juicy. Juicy. Next time you get to manage your business. Next time I'll do it. Mark my notes. Yes, sir. Do like this. No. Even if you don't put it, at least put it in your phone. He was agitated by the whole thing. But for how long? How long do we keep letting Job get away with all he does? Husband. Thank God you're back. Thank you. Sylvia, what is it? Um, my king, I've been meaning to talk to you. Sylvia, you see, I just came back now and I'm so tired. So whatever it is you want to tell me, it can't wait, okay? No, my lord. I, I, it's very, very urgent and I don't get to see you as much as I like. Okay, my love, I have a wonderful plan. Okay. Okay. What is it? I was thinking, no, we need to go on a nice vacation, maybe to the UK or the Bahamas. Really? Yeah. To do what? Just on vacation. We're going to the UK and Bahamas, give me a sound. But my husband, I'm not the God that gives children. Beautiful. So go look for a God that gives children and ask them, your husband needs an heir. When you get a son for me, we can talk about Bahamas and UK. But my love... Did, did they tell you that people go to Bahamas and UK with rotten and decayed wombs? Get out. Get out of this place. My husband, this is not fair. It's not fair at all. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hmm. Now, what do 
sounds funny. Isn't it funny? You act like you are all the matters, but in reality, you are nothing. Look, Chiamaka, I don't have time to battle words with you. I have way more important things to do. Oh! To dream of your imaginary trip to Bahamas. <laughs> Oh, how I find out. Let's just say the walls have ears. See you here. You want to take our husband away. Oh no, Sylvia. Why? It's our husband, not your husband. <laughs> he paint them. <laughs> Oh my god! He wants to travel to Bahamas. Bahamas! Oh my god! What's good in your life? Ignatius, I am so confused right now. Did you just hear what Agu said? That the gods will speak at the right time. When is the right time? Is it when we have joined our ancestors? Hmm. My brother. It seems like the girls are punishing us for something we do not know. It is unfortunate that we have a tyrant as a king. How I wish it was in the days of his father. You are right. But what can we do? Ever since our late king joined our ancestors, Ibaku kingdom has become shadow of itself. Huh? Why would the god punish us for what? We know nothing about. I pray that uh, the gods of Allah see us through. That is the only way. You say? Uh, well, let's continue. Because <laughs> for what I'm saying, for what I'm saying. Okay. Ah. as if she holds the word, yet she can't even give the king a head. I pity her with all the money they claim they have. Evil men do, lives with them. My husband will take it. My dear, you want to believe what my ear witnessed today? I want to. Talk now. Tell me what your eyes see on our way today. You know how the queen used to behave now, showing herself around the village. But today we are not a good day for her. Are you ready to tell me what happened or should I take my leave? Wait, you soft. Calm down. Do you know your problem? Impatient. You are always impatient. Well, you know the people of Ibak. Don't hit the king's wife. They don't. Why did you say that? They called her Baron. Oh! Then what happened? Everything was a shock to me. Nothing happened. Nothing. She didn't even utter a word. She kept moving. Huh. That's strange, you. You mean she just left without uttering anywhere? 
wonder shall never end. <sighs> Let's keep going. Okay. Let me continue to have you. Of what need is it for me to visit Jambas when you cannot get pregnant? My king, you hurt me with your words. I will tell you why. If you don't want to be hurt by my words, you leave here immediately and return to your chamber. My king. Hey. Get out. Look. God's reveal to you because I'm running out of patience. Your Highness, uh, great son of the Lion of Ibarco, have the gods ever forsaken you? Why are you losing faith in them so soon? Did you say so soon? Has it not been long enough? I mean, how long do I need to wait to prove my loyalty to the gods? The gods will still speak. I know, I can feel it. All you need to do is exercise more patience. The gods are waiting for the throne to slip off my grip before they will talk to me. I'm asking you how to answer me. Your Highness, I'm afraid. This is one question I may not be able to answer. <laughs> It's 
Mm -hmm. And I still have to get cassava for my mother. Mm -hmm. Today, don't worry, eh? I'll go with you. I don't have anything I'm doing at home anymore. Koto, yeah. are you going with us? Koto! Uh, what were you saying? What are you thinking? Something. Huh. What was she saying? I've been observing you lately and you seem very distracted. Please tell me. What is it? Nothing. I was just thinking of what to prepare for my father. Mm -hmm. Something. are you sure? Yes. <laughs> what else would I be thinking? Okay. And then please, let me you say you are sure somebody. Mm -hmm. I cannot do that. Sonto, I can no longer keep this to myself. Listen, I was with the king earlier, and it appears he has lost faith in the gods. But father... I cannot keep this to myself, my daughter. We just have to reveal it to him. The prophecy cannot be averted. So, father, you want to send your only daughter into the lion's den? Is the wish of the gods. We have to reveal to the king that you, Sonto, will be the one to save the royal household. No, father, I cannot accept it. I do not want to marry in Joko. Father, we can offer sacrifices to the gods. Oh, no, Sonto. You know it is impossible. You know it. Father, why me? Why me? We do not know the ways of the gods. It is the instruction, then we have to obey it. But I am scared. I'm scared. I do not want to marry in Joko. My daughter, it is the will of the gods. <laughs> Your Highness, the land is in turmoil. The rivers have dried up. <laughs> yes, Your, Your Highness. In the past few days, all our crops have died. Uh, your, your Majesty, uh, they are not far from the truth. You have to do something. Uh, our people now live in fear. That's the back now. I have heard what you said. And I assure you that I, Njoko, your king, the great son of Abalanza, will not sit behind it and watch my kingdom go into obscurity. Yeah. I've spoken well, my king. Uh, Your Highness, uh, what then is the solution? Kala. Yes, Your Highness. Send one of the guards to fetch me the sea I need. <laughs> Yeah, for the seer. Yeah. Greetings, great seer of Ibaku Kingdom. The king requests for your presence at once. Very well then. I'll be with him shortly. Here we're then.
Father. Sumto, it is time. Even the gods are getting angry. But Father, if you... Listen, I have to reveal his prophecy to his people. That's the only way that all the calamities that will befall the Baku people will be averted. Father, please, do not let me do this. I beg of you. Forgive me, my child. Forgive me. Greetings, elders of Ibaku Kingdom. I've written this here of Ibaku Kingdom. I've summoned you here to let you know that I can no longer wait for the gods. Your Highness, you don't need to wait any longer. Good. Speak to me. It shall come to pass that the one who shall bear the heir to the throne shall also cleanse the land of all its evil. That is the prophecy. Who has such power? Uh, yes, Aku. Who is she? Is she a daughter of the soil? Speak, Sia. Your king is listening. The one whom the gods have chosen is my daughter, Sumtuchu. Surprise seeing you in my house. The last time I saw you here, you were very young. Where is your daughter? She's inside. Fetch her immediately. Please take a seat. I have not come here for hospitality. It's okay. Let me fetch her. Fine. Come, come. Prepare yourself for your getting married to the king as soon as possible. And what makes you think I would marry a man like you? Did you just talk back to me? Sumto! Ah, please, let me speak my mind. Who do you even think you are? <laughs> Joko, let me ask you. Do you think if you ask me to jump and I'll ask you how high? Do you? Do you think I want to take another wife? And even if I wanted to? What is giving you the impression that I will come for a low life like you? Of course, we're on the same page. Nevertheless, I'm just doing this for my kingdom. You don't have a choice. It is the prophecy. I do not care about the prophecy.
Yes. Can we have a word with you? What is it? Um, is there any truth in the rumor going around? What rumor are you talking about? That you are to marry another? Yes. Another that will give me an heir according to the prophecy. But your highness, you will obviously not take her as your wife, right? Of course I am going to take her as a wife. But why? <laughs> but your highness, my husband. Are we, are we not beautiful? <laughs> I'm so confused. The people of Iba who meet me. It's okay. I know you will do the right thing. Okay? Just listen to your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making things so difficult for yourself again? Father, this isn't an easy decision for me. I am finding it so hard to accept my fate. Listen, my daughter. Realize that I am your father. And I will not throw you into the lion's den intentionally. I know. You know. So come off it. Come off it. You can't continue like this. Get up and do something else. You not be troubled. I mean, who, who in our right senses would want to get married to that tyrant of the king? <laughs> so, to has to marry the king yeah. because he has been ordained by the gods, and there's nothing no one can do about it. <laughs> I don't know why you. He has been ordained by the gods, and, and not, there's nothing no one can do about it. I mean, no one. I know. But whatever her decision is, we just have to support her. Yes, so my sister, go away.
refusing to marry the king. I never asked you that. But it's your right to refuse the union. And what problem do you have with getting married to the king? It is for your own good. And I'm sure you are no stranger to the king's will. How can a beautiful girl like you subject yourself to such? Subject yourself? Can you both be married to Are you questioning us? No! I mean, how can I pretend the thing to feel that thing? I can see you're trying to make a mockery of us. But let me warn you. You're ready to dance to any tune of music that comes to you. For he who fetches an ant infested firewood, she expect the lizard from the city. Father, after much consideration, I have decided to marry you. Huh? May the gods be praised. My daughter, you have done a very wise thing. <laughs> I will get words across to the king. Papa, I want you to know that I am doing this because of you and for the people of Hidal King. It's good enough. And for that, God will surely continue to bless you. Yeah? You will enter that royal household and we shall hear the cry of a child, a male child. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. I will get words across to the king. Yeah? <laughs> That's good. I have decided to marry the king. So, so are you sure? Is, is that really what you want? I just have to. The people need me. But what about your happiness? Shouldn't that come first? No, it doesn't matter now. What matters is the happiness of our people. So you're, you're saying you're sacrificing your happiness for the people of Ibaku? Yes. Sumto, you're an amazing person and I pray to God to bless you. <laughs> Today is indeed a great day in Ibarco land. Your Majesty, you are right. And soon, and here shall be born. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, praise so. God. You are welcome once again. Thank you. Never quit! 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 Quit!
<laughs> I got to do no more. <laughs> What is it? I want you to know that I would never love you. I would never belong to you. I'm not asking you to. All I want is for you to do your wifely duty and I'm gone. I hate you. I hate you with all my heart. I hate the fact that you're so arrogant. You don't care about anyone at all. Who cares how you feel about me? I mean, do you think I care about? It's immaterial. I mean, I have a whole lot of things to worry about. And some that will listen. You have to do your wifely duty. So prepare yourself for that. Maybe you aren't prepared. You need to go clean up or something. So I'll be back. This compound without your mates and your dad. I do not need any mates and dads. I've been wandering around this place since I was little. I'm giving you an order. And I hope you get to. Disobeyed my orders. Many people who disobeyed me, I mean, who did what you are doing now, have been punished. You can punish me if you want, but I can never be bullied into such order. You are testing my patience, woman. I am not afraid of you, and I will never succumb to your whim. So to get into this car now, before I do something, I will regret. I'm sorry, my king, but I want to walk. I think you just have to go back because I know you're not used to trek. You think so? Of course. <laughs> I notice the people of the Ipaku land love and respect you so much. 
Well, that's because I am like them. I can relate to them. I can relate too. Oh, yes. Just that when they see me, is it, there's this kind of fright. Like they are scared, like I'm going to swallow them. That's which your emergency. That's exactly what I was telling you. If you want your people to love and respect you, you have to love and respect them as well. <laughs> That's, that sounds very funny. I, Njoku, love and respect my people. Uh, I will say you don't have all it takes to win the kingdom. And you think you do? To the best of my knowledge, I think I do. If you want me to help you, ask for me and I will help you. Well, I think you don't know what it means to be a king. Well, I'll let that pass. two eyes when I saw Njoko and his so-called new wife returning from God to nowhere on foot. You know, what I'm afraid is about to happen. And what could that be? Use your head. She use your head. Can't you see he's about to be wrapped around her fingers? And when that happens, it's over for you and I. No. But we won't let that happen. We, we can't. Of course not. She may have found favor with the gods, but she can never find favor with Njoko. Oh yeah, you said it all. You said it all. I trust you, bet. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, I am so happy for you. You look so good. Hey, can you stop? You're making me blush. Huh? You should do. You should blush. Who wouldn't blush? Living in this big palace, sleeping here, and waking up. Eva, hey, you will not kill me. Mm -mm. Uh -uh, it's okay. You won't die. But it's okay. Do you need more meats? What do you just say? Like, if you need more meats. <laughs> you're serious. But what is wrong with you? Why can you say that? I was, <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. But seriously, this was his big. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Very big. My friend, tell me something. The truth. Okay. Is a king treating you fairly? How do you mean? Something you know exactly what I mean. Oh, well, yes. He's treating me fairly. I think if you get to know him like I have, you will know he's a good man. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> ha! Good man. I never thought a day like this would come that my friend, Somto, who we'll talks something good about Sunjoko? You say he's a good man. Uh, that's because I didn't know him. <laughs> hey. What's funny? Mm -mm, nothing. Something. Could it be that you're in love with the king? What? Like, are you in love with the king? How can you say that? Of course not. You should see your face. <laughs> Okay, arrest my kids. Maybe just stop this thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. Do you need me? <laughs> I don't need you. What is wrong with you? I don't need you. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sit and join me at dinner. When I was coming out, he still violated it from me. And that was the last happened in the house. How dare you? No one regards me in this house anymore. Everyone disrespects me. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Please forgive me. She made me give it to her. Please, I'm sorry. You are very stupid. <laughs> Sylvia, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? I can see you are still up with your own, own actings. What's this? I sent my maid to get me apple. Rather, you took it away from her. Why? <laughs> What's funny? Chi Chiamaka. So you came here to fight me over apple? No, I didn't come to fight you. I came to put you in your place. I think you should channel your energy towards Sumto. Because she's gradually finding her way into Njoko's heart. Oh no, please, pay me that. Njoko only wants an A from her, nothing else. Nothing else! So you say. But I think otherwise. Whatever. Let me tell you something. If you like your place in this house, we should do something about that girl. I can't sit down and watch her take everything away from us. I can't! I want to go and see my father, so I thought I should tell you. You don't have to take my permission if you want to go see your father. Yeah, or do you want me to accompany you? No, I can go by myself. That's fine, that's okay. Just make sure you go with your maid and your guard. I will. You see, you see how awesome it is when you do as I say. Well, it's because I think you act nicely. Oh, really? 
Yes, my husband. You see, it sounds so nice when you call me your husband. Not some arrogant <laughs> jerk. You know, all those things you call me. What's that one you always call me? I can't even remember. As a matter of fact, that's so nasty. Excuse me. Why the excuse me? <laughs> Each person should allow his the other one land. The one that says that he will not land, lets the land be broken. Gods of our land, gods of our ancestors. We come to you for guidance. We come to you for protection. In a place we usually say that. Anyone looking for my daughter will have the life and the place of a chick. The daughter shall be the chick, she will keep her. And you who is pursuing her will be the father. That is the distance of life. The grandchild does not tell his father. See, we are where we may be coming from. It is her grandfather that will tell him. Not him, but he will come out of the My ancestors were very good. So shall we protect us. My daughter. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. <laughs> Father, you're looking so thin. Are you sure you've been feeling very well? Well, there hasn't been anybody around to prepare very good meals for me after you left. <laughs> Sorry about that. Man. I should be coming often to cook for you. Ah, no, can't do that now. You're someone's wife. And I'm sure you know I can uh, take care of myself. <laughs> I know, but... I was just teasing you. <laughs> it's okay. Well, tell me, my daughter. How are you? I hope your husband is treating you well. <laughs> yes, brother. My husband treats me well. Ah, that's the kind of thing I want to hear. Eh? May the gods continue to bless you. He say. May the gods <laughs> continue to bless your household. He say. <laughs> Okay, Father, let me go inside and make something for you. You don't have to bother yourself. I was only teasing you. I can't take care of myself. I insist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are glad. All right. Oh, uh, so tell me exactly what happened. Thank you very much, Your Highness, for this opportunity. This man here borrowed money from me, and he promised to pay me back in two weeks' time. But your highness, this is more than two months. I didn't hear from him. Is he speaking the truth? Your highness, it is true. Uh, but I've been pleading with him to give me more time. Uh, my, my wife has been sick, and things have not been easy for us, your highness. Your highness, he's not saying the truth. This man here has a very big land in the outskirts of Ibaku. Yes. You are trying to let him on? Yes, that land, Your Highness. He has taken over my land and he's making life miserable for us, Your Highness. We have not been able to make ends meet. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Highness. But he promised me that. How dare you lay claims on his land? On whose authority did you do that? Are you not the ruler of the back land? No, Your Highness. But he... You defile me by taking laws into your hands. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Please forgive me. It won't happen again. But if you leave, I will communicate my decision to you later. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Hey. 
Did you both <laughs> notice the change in the queen? <laughs> in fact, I am surprised. <laughs> I have never ever in my life seen him or heard him speak like that. In fact, unlike him, he would have seized that one for himself. But today, he did the unimaginable. Imagine the king, listening and deliberating. Eh? Something that has never happened before. You can say that again. <laughs> I am baffled. Hey! Who Don't. knows? Maybe we all are still dreaming. In fact, if it is a dream, I would rather go back and sleep again. In fact, I don't want to wake up. Eh? <laughs> Let it be a dream. I don't want to wake up again. I'll go back and sleep. Yes, I'll go back and sleep. Seem troubled, Your Highness. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is all right. It's just that there's this delicate kiss before me. If it were before, I would have just taken it so that thing. And now? And now, I don't just want to take a decision, I want to give you the fair hearing. Ever since you came into my life, I see things differently. Tell me what troubles you. Who knows? We can solve it together.
So you may want to complete this award. Okay. Ensuring that you complete your mission of getting it. So that's the idea, Father. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Okay. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. So wonderful. Father, how well do you know my husband? What kind of question is that? I mean, what else do you want to know about him that you don't know already? Do you know him to be an emotional person? Well, um, Joko, right from when he was young, I knew him as a very boisterous and young man full of life. Okay. But uh, after the death of his father, he changed. He now became this hard and bitter king that we see today. So, he was traumatized by his father's death? Well, I think so. I can give it to that. Next time you have to be more careful. Okay? Before you cross the road, you look left, right, and left again before you cross. Get out with your dumb head. Straight to my house and lock her in my cage. Because you're very stubborn. I mean, you stood up to me. I teach you a lesson. Really? Yes. Don't you 
Highness. Did you see what she just did? Yes. This girl is a witch. That's it. Exactly. She's a witch. Nobody can tell me otherwise. This girl is a witch. And she needs to leave this house. Yes. Syria is right. You shut up, both of you. Your Highness, please, what is going on here? Adam, you see your daughter the witch? But I will not say a word. They should accuse me if they want to. So, Your Highness, please, tell me exactly what happened. I'll tell you. This witch standing here tried to kill the king. That's a lie. Shut up. We all saw what happened. Elders of our land. This witch here came into this palace to take my husband away from us. She has to leave this palace because she does not belong here. Yes. You lie, Sylvia. If anyone belongs here, then it's I. For I am the one they got recognized. Because you'll be my friend forever. I promise I'll be your friend forever. So, if anyone had the right to stay in this palace, it's me. Because Njoko and I we are bound together by the gods long ago. Why didn't you tell me? Why should I? You promised never to forget me. Yet you do. When I lost my father, I wanted to forget about everything. That includes me. You don't understand. I was hurt. I had no father, no mother. I hated the fact that I was alone. So, I decided to block everything. Besides, I was young. I was young too. But I never forgot about you. I waited for 20 years. Only for you to return already married. I decided not to intrude. But to hate you from afar. Really? Is that why you wanted to poison me? For my past mistake? You really believe that I, Sonu Tochiku, would want to kill anyone? You have not answered my question. Silence that witch in the center. Oh, yes! <laughs> but are you sure Ujoku will send her away after what she revealed? He has about a tragic relationship. I'm sure he will send it. Mm. <laughs> I trust you because you are the master in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Martin, everything you do have to me. You yeah. rest assured. I know. Wow. So it's like this. Hey. Thank you, I have to tell me the truth, Ago. Is your daughter a witch that is capable of killing you? No, my daughter is not a witch. Well, I would have to talk to my daughter first. And go ahead and talk with her, but just know that time is ticking. Mm. 
We need to tell everyone the truth sometime. Father, we don't need to tell them the truth, and you know it. Father, how do you think people will react to the truth? You will lose face. I don't care about me. What I care about is your well-being. So, so. Father, please. You don't need to tell them. Listen, my child, I'm not going to listen to you. Not anymore. We need to tell them the truth and nothing but the truth. As it has been the tradition of Iba. Speak, Ago. Father, do not say a word. I am ready to bear the consequences. I'm sorry, my daughter. But time has come for me to speak the truth to the people. Your Highness, people of Ibak, elders, Sumto here is not a witch. Sumto is a gifted child. Blessed by the gods. She has become my eyes. She sees things. She informs me. And then I in turn pass on the message. Sumto did not want me to reveal that she was the one seeing the things for fear that I may lose my position amongst the people. Just of our land, protector of the universe. Why are you silent? Speak to me. Tell me what I need to see and what I need to know. Don't be silent, of course. Out of our land. Don't be silent, please. Speak to me. Tell me what I need to know. Uh, Sumto, uh, uh, go back inside the house. When I am done, I will come in. Okay? The king and the son will be here soon. Uh, but how did you know this? I just know. Hurry up, Papa. It is important that you speak to him. Hmm. Papa. What is the matter? Is anything wrong? Papa, the king is going to die. Da! The fiawa. Don't ever say that kind of thing with your mouth. But father. I had a dream. In that dream, I saw the king die. Listen, Sumto. Don't ever allow a third ear hear this. Speak of this to no one. It's okay. Ibako has lost a great man. Could that be? The king is dead. What? <sighs> Everyone is still in shock. <sighs> The 
gods have blessed you with sight. It is clear that I have lost my sight and that you have been given the sight. What does that mean, Papa? What it means is that you are the new seer. You see, you saw something that was going to happen to the king and you told me and it happened. But Papa, I can do other things. Really? Other things like what? I think I have the power to do, to do things. Listen, my daughter Soto, I must protect you now, okay? You are not going to speak to anyone about this. You will keep it to yourself, okay? Listen to only your father. This is a very big surprise to give your mother. Soto. The king see her. That means... It means I saw our future together. I saw our future together. Yes, it was a risk. Because I knew the danger that would come with. Poisoned my dream. What? What are you talking about? Calm down, Papa. Hey! I still have some herbs inside. I can use them as an antidote. Soto, I, I, are you sure you're okay? I mean, don't you think you should tell the king about this? Father, I will. But at the right time, I still have to get some concrete evidence before accusing them. Are you sure you'll be alright? I'm worried. If not, let me go and intervene. No, no father, you don't need to. I will handle them. I will expose them when the time comes. Ah. Ah. Let me get the help. Oh. Oh. See you there. <laughs> you want to kill my daughter? That's the only thing. I saw them in your eyes. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, Your Highness. You know I cannot lie to you. You know me. <sighs> Thank you. Please, don't say this to anyone. I am okay. not. Yes. If there are witches here, then it's Sylvia and Chiamaka. Sylvia. Chiamaka! How could you do a thing like this? I was only jealous of some two. Please forgive me. My husband, please forgive me. It was all Sylvia's idea. She made me join forces with her to, to hate some two. Please forgive me. It was you. It was you. Was you, you shut up your mouth? And leave my presence. Please. Leave my presence this minute. Please. Leave my presence. Please. Leave my Bless your highness. Please forgive me. I am out of this place. Move it. Move it. Hey, 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 hey. Drop the stuff. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Go. Move it. Look at it. Look at it. Do it. Just move. Like witches. Wait, wait, wait. I said move it. I'm going to do that. Which is, 
Nothing against you. Really? You mean it? Like, you're forgiving me? Yeah. Mm. Father, I need something with me before I can indulge you. What did you just say? I am pregnant. You will soon have an heir to the throne. so much. I know you too. You love me? Yes. I have always loved you ever since I was little. Because I want to present to you. Behold, 
the air and the tune of your people. <laughs> Il veut pourquoi?